will call this meeting to order. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance and the invocation following. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Dear God, please bless our elected officials, grant them the wisdom to know and the courage to do what is right for all citizens. Amen. 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 Roll call, please. Allen? Here. Green? Here. LaFour? Here. Mastrovich? Here. Reindell? Here. Ricks? Here. Warren? Here. Good to see everybody here. Approval of minutes for the City Council meeting of November 21st. Motion be in order. I'll make the motion. Support. Motion been made. Support. Is there any discussion on those minutes? Being that, all in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. We also have the Council uh, special meeting minutes of November 27th. Is there a motion? I'll make that motion. Support. Motion been made and supported. Is there any discussion? Being not, all in favor of the motions say aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. Move on to audience comments on any non-agenda items. And we don't have anybody but our director here from Parts and Rec. We will move on. Adoption agenda, Mr. City Manager, any changes? No changes. Council, any changes? Motion to accept the agenda as presented would be in order. I'll make that motion. Support. Motion's been made in support. Any discussion? All in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. Is there a motion for the consent agenda? I'll make a motion to approve the consent agenda as presented. Support. Motion's been made and supported. There is no discussion on the motion. All in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. We move on to items for consideration. We have two this evening. The first one is consideration of establishing a quarterly roundtable meeting date. Mr. City Manager. Council is being asked to schedule its next quarterly roundtable meeting. The roundtables provide an opportunity for the council to discuss specific areas of concern and detail in a workshop format. Uh, we normally have them in January, April, July, and October. Um, the next one that we need to schedule is for January. Uh, Oftentimes, uh, in recent history, uh, we've been going on the same nights as the regular meeting, and just starting earlier, breaking for the regular meeting, and then going back into close uh, or back into the roundtable. Um, the January meetings this year are the third and the sixteenth. It was incorrect in your packet; it's the sixteenth, not the seventeenth. And then February seventh and the twenty-first. Uh, the correction there too, Mr. City Manager. Those are Tuesdays. Ah, okay. Should be the 6th and the 20th. Thank you. I just, just saw that. Anything else, sir? January 6th? Nope. I'd like to make a motion. Um, I think uh, the holidays are, are going to be uh, very busy, yeah. and uh, I think the city is very busy. I would like to make a motion to consider having our um, special quarterly roundtable meeting on February 6th at 5.30. Support. Motion has been made in support. Is there any discussion? I think it'll give us more time, you know, and, and, and Thank you. whatnot uh, for the administration to get uh, everything together also. Any other comments? Being that, all in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. Item number two, <clears throat> consideration of a hot water heater proposal for the odd. Mr. City Manager. Uh, the existing hot water heater at the Roosevelt Auditorium needs to be replaced. Uh, our public service director has been working on a number of plumbing and HVAC issues over there. Uh, currently, the uh, hot water heater is in the same room as the boiler, which is pretty much uh, the opposite corner of the building where it needs to be uh, for uh, most of the use, which is the bathrooms in the front of the building. So uh, we did have um, St. John Plumbing, who's uh, very familiar with the building, provide a quote for moving it. Uh, Jim can explain kind of the intricacies of, of that project a little better than I, uh, but we're requesting that uh, council waive the uh, purchasing ordinance requirements and allow us to contract with St. John Plumbing uh, for this project in the amount of $8,000. Thank you. Jim, did you want to add anything to that at this uh, point? Sure. So the, the 
water heater currently is in the northwest corner of the building, which is by the boiler. It leaks and needs to be replaced. The bathrooms are in the southeast corner of the building, which is the primary use uh, location. And the, the water uh, pipeline itself runs underneath the gymnasium where there's no basement. And that being 80 years old is probably close to its service life anyway. I need a replacement. As far as uh, life cycle costs and long-term efficiencies, we're trying to identify what would be the best approach for the city given that it needs to be replaced now do we move it do we put an identical unit where it's at uh, but again being s such a long line to get to the bathrooms during normal use it's it'll never reach the faucet they'll turn it off it'll just slowly work its way there and then it's a, it's a waste of money and certainly it's running 24 7 to do that and on demand uh, water heaters what we had considered I did talk with St. John's Plumbing on multiple occasions. He's been there doing some boiler repair work for us in addition to meeting me on multiple occasions just to, to kind of go through the options. And, and I felt the uh, uh, gas on demand, you know, or tankless, it's also called water heater, basically underneath the bathrooms would allow uh, nearly instant hot water when it's needed and it's during a high use event, say a chili cook-off or something, there's no concern that we'd run out either. So if you had a small tanked unit or say an electric unit under there, there's a chance that one, it would run all the time still, but two, it would run out maybe when it's most needed. So it's quite a bit of expense, but there, a gas line has to be run to that location. Uh, but again, for cost aside, it is the, the most appropriate use for, for long-term cost savings and for the, the need, benefits the need of the building. So that's cer certainly what I'm recommending. Thank you. Is there a motion before discussion? I make the motion to waive purchasing ordinance requirements due to section 64-53D and authorize the expense of $8,000 of St. John Plumbing for installation of a tankless water heater with the expense charge of appropriate line items in the Park and Recreation Fund. Support. Most been made in support discussion. So a thought that I had um, was, would it be possible to put in a pre, like Culligan filter that would help the tank last longer because of the hardness of the water? Uh, well, as far as the, if it, if the, the new tank, the new unit, one, if it went with a tank list, that, mm -hmm. that certainly wouldn't be an issue. And the, um, my concerns are not that I don't believe that the tank has failed prematurely due to hardness in the water. I I think that the um, it's certainly old. Right. No. No. That that I'm just with the I when we when we had this quoted like for our house for something like this that our hard the hardness of our water builds up scale. Yeah. Yeah. On those tankless filters, and so it was recommended to put a okay. Like a, they're not they're really cheap but it's just that little fi filter like, like a carbon filter or no something? it wasn't it was white that was installed just made it last longer well I, I can certainly ask the plumber if he feels that adding some a pre-treatment type thing ahead of a new you're talking as far as a new mm -hmm. in front of the new heater would benefit then certainly can consider that yeah now, um, I know we've talked at Parks and Rec um, about the basement and having some type of um, sink system down there also, yeah. whether it's going to be a restaurant or whatever it's going to be in the future. Are you telling us that the tank that is in the northwest corner right now should be disconnected because it's um, I shape? I do, and I, I spoke with the, the plumber and there's multiple options one would be if it's a uh, small use you you could do a say an electric uh, tank unit immediately underneath the sink or really in his opinion for the same uh, cost to run a, a line of a PEX line from this new on-demand over to that kitchen it would really be cheaper and it would provide plenty of hot water for that use because we I guess we I'm envisioning or we're envisioning that that would be a, 
infrequent, but once you're using it, you get the water there and you're, you're, you're cycling through and you're done. It's not quite the on and off like you would have with the bathroom or as frequent as the bathroom. So, But he, we did talk about that actually today. He was there for another issue. And uh, we talked about he's intending to tee off that the hot water tank. So if we want to run a line to that kitchen, that that's easily doable. Did he give you a price on that? Uh, he did not, but he said it would be very little cost because it's just really the cost of a PEX line that runs over to there because he has to run right past it with the gas line. So he'll, it's really kind of the same location. So I'd like to see it get done. That's fine. Um, yeah, we get then I'll get a price it to to add that while he's the there. I'm sure, it'll be, I'm sure it'll be less than $5,000. Yeah, so for sure. Sure. Just leave it to the administration. You know, and, if okay. it's a reasonable amount, and yes. just like, yeah. So we can have just it like done. Just like the filter. Okay. If they're, yep. as Councilor Green mentioned, they're cheap. We can certainly add one on if he recommends it. And, uh, and again, this, I'm sure uh, if they're running line through this and he's going to you know, running a gas line and water line side by side is yeah. while they're there, it's the time to do it. So, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I don't. I don't think we need to amend the motion. I will just look at, you know, if it's a reasonable cost and within administration's level of spending, we can yeah. get it done. Good. Good. Well, and having the recirculation pump, no matter where it is, will make it fast. That that thing's amazing. Mm -hmm. Okay. You evidently have had this installed in your uh, new house. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've gone through a lot of this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Is there any other uh, discussion on this? And uh, Marco, is there anything you want to bring up on this? Okay. Very good. Back to the table. All in favor of the motions? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Roll call. Thank you, Michael. Allen? Yes. Green. Yes. LaFour? Yes. Ms. Dravich? Yes. Reindell? Yep. Ricks? Yes. Warren? Yes. Motion passes. Thank you. <laughs> okay, uh, miscellaneous matters from the city manager, sir. Um, I'd just like to thank uh, those that were involved in the tree lighting, along with all the volunteers, which includes the festival parade committee uh, for putting on the Santa parade. Uh, just like to thank all the city departments that were involved. Uh, the volunteer fire department, police department, DPW, our rec department, and this year we had quite a few people from City Hall out there uh, volunteering. So, and just like to thank everyone else that was involved, all the volunteers too. It was a very nice, Great event. very nice evening. Um, also, like to thank Sue Keel and her family uh, for decorating the city council tree, the lobby tree, and the wreath out in the lobby again uh, this year. They do a great job, and uh, they've done it uh, quite a few years in a row now. So, very good. I think them, and I think that's it. Okay, council comments. Start down there with you, Jamie. I just concur the sentiments of the our wonderful Christmas um, kickoff of our home for the holidays. It was great and thanks, John, since you're the last one who didn't get thanks. So thank you for a, an excellent job with coordinating that and your team. Yeah. I'm all set, thank you. I have nothing. Rob. Nothing to add. Nothing. I concur. So do I. But of course we have the Lois Wagner Memorial Library announcements, uh, their 27th <laughs> annual Christmas cookie sale. Have you said anything to them that they... Uh, <laughs> we've mentioned a couple yeah, of times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot to tell Julianne about this. Uh, but anyhow, the 27th annual Christmas cookie sale, it's a, a fundraiser that will be on Friday, December 9th from 12 to 5. Uh, if you care to uh, bake for them, you could have your cookie drop off on Thursday, December 8th from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. And it will be sold by the pound. And of course, all profits go to the library. Also at the library is a Christmas puzzle competition, Saturday, December 10th. Uh, Check-in is at 10 a.m. They will start promptly at 10.15. It's $5 per team. Any questions on that? 727-2665. And also the mitten tree collection is still going on till December 12th. Uh, they'll be collecting new gloves, mitten scarves, hats, for both children and adults for the holiday season. Um, the, the items may be homemade and or purchased, uh, brought to the library uh, prior to December 12th. Again, questions, call the library at 727-2665. Uh, we have uh, today being the fifth, um, 
we have a couple of cancellations. The recreation uh, meeting has been canceled for Tuesday. The uh, planning commission has been uh, also for lack of items uh, in the holidays. We have canceled the 8th for planning commission. I assume there is no BZA. Correct. Okay. Um, and again, the cookie sale, uh, you know, starts on Friday. And uh, hats off to our, um, our police fire EMS, Shop of the Hero, will be conducted by the Richmond uh, organization on the 10th, that's Saturday. A uh, week from tonight's library board meeting at 5.30 at the library. And two weeks from tonight on the 19th will be the next regular city council meeting. Is there any other business of the city council at this time? Motion to adjourn be in order. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Support. What's well, been made in support? There uh, is no discussion. All in favor of the I'm sorry. Yeah, there is no discussion. All in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Against, the motion does pass. Thanks for being with us. Aye.